SMT Nation, we are back. Nation, I'm going to link this video for you guys to read. Uh, you definitely want to check it out. But there is a really interesting proposal that AT&T has put together to try to reband and reconfigure what's going on in the 3 gigahertz. They want to fix, or they have a proposal to fix, the whole CBRS problem and the whole discontiguous, non-contiguous nature of 3 gigahertz. I get it. You know, there, there, there's going to be some resistance. We need to look at the, the opposite side of this, right? We know who would benefit from a reband of 3 gigahertz and a reassignment of CBRS. Verizon would, would benefit. T-Mobile would benefit. AT&T would benefit. I mean, most companies would benefit. However, in my opinion, there's one group that wouldn't benefit. Let me tell you guys all about it today. All right, link, is in the art, uh, link for the article is in the description. Ways to support us can be found there as well. Please do like and share this video. Subscribe if it's your first time here and turn on the bell notification icon to never miss an upload from the SMT. All right, folks. So the rebanding proposal, fixing the three gigahertz situation, you would take CBRS from the middle of the band, move it down to 3.1, right? And then you would take that unused spectrum currently, uh, well, unused by commercial networks that gets bumped up and then you make a more contiguous connect connection for the rest of the band. So that would be like DOD at 3450. That would be kind of that 3550 area where CBRS used to be. That kind of swaps out with where the 3.1 currently is, right? So you basically get CBRS down at the bottom, right? And then that can stay unlicensed, but it stays out of the way of the commercial stuff all the way up to C-band between 3700 and 3900. The proposal could work. It, the technical aspects and, and executing is another thing, but as a proposal, there's nothing wrong with it, except for fixed wireless access providers, the regional guys, who have been building over the course of the last couple of years, CBRS solutions in the 3550 frequency. I don't know what that means for them. Like, does their gear broadcast 3100 frequencies, which is where AT&T would propose the CBRS would move down to? That becomes a problem. There's a solution to it. Obviously, I think with the proceeds from the re-auctioning or the, you know, the sale of the, the spectrum and the, the realignment, you take those, that funding and you replace their gear if it's incompatible, right? I think that becomes the solution. But it's complicated, time-consuming. One could argue it's unnecessary, right? Because just leave things the way they are, status quo. But I do agree that a reband and a fixing of these errors would be better long-term, right? So there's always going to be pain when there's change right? It's never going to be easy. But in the long term, it would fix things and make it better. Because if you look at the spectrum situation, and the way things have been auctioned, and the way things have been distributed, and buyouts and purchases, it's basically ruined every single frequency band range in the entire United States operations. Nothing works right. The 800 doesn't work right. The 850 doesn't work right. The 600 from TV didn't work right. Uh, you know, CBRS doesn't, like nothing is done properly. It's just messy. And this would be an opportunity to fix it. It does have its complications. I think the most impacted would be the fixed wireless access regionals that have already started to deploy CBRS radio gear. But I think there is a solution. And I know it would involve a little bit of pain, but it would fix things long term. And while I'm not a big fan of AT&T as a company, I am a big fan of really good networks. And this would fix a lot of the problems in the 3 gigahertz band. You would fix the CBRS issues. You would fix the DOD issues. You would fix C-band issues. You would fix the whole thing. Just got to fix what would happen with the fixed wireless access regionals. Right? And, uh, yeah, and then the, there's some other stuff, but we could talk about that in a video later. Let's do that. In fact, we'll make more content on this. Stay tuned for more of those videos, but comment down below. You all the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard.